Hello everybody, let's get started. I'm working with our 3 inch half round moss ledge and also our 4.5 inch half round moss ledge. Uh, the tools we're using are some clippers, uh, some string, and two colors, some handy dandy tweezers, and I'll show you how they come in handy later, and of course the moss. I just kind of picked this out of my aquarium. Some leftover moss, I'm not really sure what it is. All right, so let's get this out of the way. All right, so this is our three inch half moss ledge. We're going to now grab some string. This is just regular old cotton string um, from a sewing kit. Pretty much any cotton string will do. We're gonna cut a decent length. I would say it's about a foot. It's kind of hard to see right now, but this brown string, I'm just laying it out flat on the table. Now we're going to grab some moss. Maybe one more piece. All right, looks great. Now we're just going to make it all pretty. Okay. So the string is flat on the table. We're just going to lay the string extra flat. Put the ledge right over the string. And now we're just going to bring both of the ends together and tie a knot like you're tying your shoes, except doing it twice. So we're going to do the first one. Try to get as snug as possible. Now this is the tricky part. Once you get this nice and tight, you're going to have to do another knot. So I like to use tweezers. Uh, what they do is allows me to get in there without losing it. Uh, just helps with precision, really. All right. First one is tied. I'm just going to snip off the excess. And here you go. Look at that. Whoop. Okay, so you can see the piece of string there. It's uh, holding up some of the moss, but I think we're going to have to do another one to make sure it's fully secure. Same thing as last time. Put the ledge right over the string. Tie the first knot. Nice and snug. Get the tweezers, make a second knot. Of course, tweezers are optional, but like I said before, it makes your life way easier. Stim off some of the excess. And there you go. That's the first method. It's on there pretty good. It's not coming off. Alrighty, now let's move to the next ledge. This is the four and a half inch half circle. We're gonna use some blue uh, string. Probably see it a little better too. Uh, for this method, you're gonna want a significantly larger amount. I would say this is about two feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach one end with a knot to a corner hole. Uh, we'll use uh, this hole right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same kind of knot, but I'm just going to tie it through this hole. 
get it through the hole. All right. Same thing as before, we're going to tie two knots. All right. Oh, all right, drop that one. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to be a little more careful this time. I'm going to rest it against the table a little bit. Although it looks like I'm struggling a little bit doing this, uh, I think that this method overall is easier than the first method. All right, we got our first knot down. I'm just gonna use tweezers. <laughs> So much easier. All right, now that that's nice and secured, we're gonna snip off the excess. Here we go. Nice and secured. All right, so now that that's on there, we're gonna put some moss on the ledge. Let's just use up all the rest of this. You really don't need that much moss because it will grow out eventually. Uh, it really just depends on how quickly you want the moss to engulf the ledge. Just get every bit, every bit will be attached. I'm just gonna spray it out a little bit. I'm just going to play with the moss a little bit until I find a setup that I like. Alright, that looks much better. Alright, now we're going to start wrapping it. So take your string and just wrap it around. It doesn't matter how, but it will. the string will be secured on the ledge. I'm just going to go... Um, I guess I'll just go around and uh, uh, underneath the suction cup and then back over and then yeah over you eventually want to reach the other hole so what you're going to do is then feed the string through the opposite hole this part's a little tricky so we're going to use tweezers again Just uh, feed it through. And all we're doing is we're trying to make another knot like we did in the, the, for, for the first hole. So, whoops, lost the string. It's all right, we're just gonna do it again. All right, maybe you can see a little better with this position. So I'm just uh, grabbing the tweezers, getting the end of that string, just putting it through the hole, or the loop, I guess, putting it through the loop. Really, just try to do it any way you can. All right, and that's the first knot. Make sure that's pretty snug because you want everything to be pretty tight. All right, when we come for the second knot, just be careful not to loosen it too much. Just make that er, make that second knot. Even if it is a little loose, it won't really affect the holding ability of the string. Just try to make it as tight as possible. Alright, there we have it. All stringed up. Second method. Now that they're all ready to go, I'm going to put them in my red crystal shrimp tank. And I'll show you guys that in a second, but first I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoy our ledges. And be sure to check out our new Instagram page. Once we hit 100 followers, we're going to be giving out some cool stuff, including moss ledges and some other things that are unreleased. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helps you string up your moss ledges. Until next time.